What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it at this time. Uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. Because we love talking our quarterbacks. Yes. Big Ben signed a deal back in Pittsburgh. Yep. Is this a is this, is Pittsburgh living on a prayer right now? Are they do they think that they actually oh, are you going to be able to contend with with Ben Roethlisberger at quarterback continuously? You it. Or? They're they're living on a prayer and they're pandering to their fan base. They're pandering a little bit. I don't think they thought they could sell the full rebuild after going eleven and zero. I think they were going to have a struggle with the fan base. That is a loud, raucous fan base that really pushes them around, if you will. Uh, ben is loved there, for, for better or for worse. Uh, Skill set, and you I, I don't think we talked about this, but I have, a, I have an ongoing bet with a friend of who which team wins a title first. I have the Dolphins, he has the Steelers. We got like a $500 bet going on that. I'm very pleased that Ben's coming back because I think that completely sets them back, not just this year, but it's slows the rebuild again, which means oh, I'm on it toilet upstairs. bowls them for sure. Yeah. yeah. They've got some cool players, right? I like Claypool. I, I don't think they're keeping Juju. I think they have De Deontay Johnson's pretty good. James Washington's pretty good. James Connor's not the solution at running back. The D is good. J TJ Watts phenomenal, right? But it's not enough when you have a quarterback that's like, <laughs> I don't know, the better version of Alex Smith. Right. At this point Ooh. of his career, at this yeah. point of his career, I don't think they compare apples to apples complete. I'm saying 2021. Ben is a upgraded Alex Smith. They're guys off serious injuries, showing what they can do. I there's no way just to go back to your percentages. There is no way they're winning uh, a Super Bowl with Ben Roethlisberger, a third one. It's not, a, and, not that's a that's a one percenter. And I, I, I respect the commitment to the player. I do. I respect well, yeah. him restructuring the contract to save them $5 million, which is nothing in football money. Right. It's zero. It, you, you might as well just cash the same check. It was all for the anyway. optics. It was all Correct. for the look of it. Hey, he's taking less. They did some weird new voidable thing that would only hurt my head to understand what the hell they did to move this money around. Didn't even but want to I'm, read about that. I'm excited as a guy that bet against them because I don't think – I think we saw the peak of what they could do, which was a mixture of luck and some good things happening with the 11-game run. And the implosion that followed, I, I'm just – some personal friends of mine, guys you know and are friendly with as well, are big fans. I'm going to be giggling as their whole house crumbles the next couple of years. I, I just don't – so <laughs> in my mind, and, and having a quarterback from that draft class, Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger, Ben's won more championships than both of those guys. Well, he, I would argue. Eli. Tied with Eli. I thought he had three. Does he two. only have two? He's a twoser. I, okay, then he has the same as one of those guys. That's right. And the other guy doesn't have any. No, so, he doesn't. He's not gonna I, would, I would argue, no, because he's done now. I would argue Ben is the least gifted quarterback yeah. of that group. And he's the one that's still playing. And he's playing at a lower level than he's ever played at before. He's also just lost his starting center. <coughs> Might lose Juju Smith-Schuster. And oh, then you have second-year guys that you're asking to make a big jump. You're talking Juju-level jumps. 
and no running back because James Conner, everybody bought in on that hype when, and then they were like, we're trading Le'Veon. That did not go well. That was yeah. not a good. That was not. No, a good no, no. Decision. Even the, even their fans are like, we love Connor. We love the Pittsburgh. We love the cancer survivor. Oh, Shoot. that's all thumbs up. All of that was great, but the on field went whoa. And then Le'Veon gets like a. He missed it. He gets to the, go to the Super Bowl and all this stuff. He didn't get the title, but he like gets to show no, up. No, but if he hangs out there for another year, he's gonna get another shot at it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take less money, win a Super Bowl, and he's like, all right, whatever. He I'll barely plays, here. which I think is funny as well. So he's so non-existent on that team. But he's like, I'll catch the check, whatever, not a big deal. Yeah. I'll catch a ball, a, a, a game, <laughs> a ball, literally one. Uh, so is Dwayne Haskins the heir apparent in Pittsburgh then? Do you think that that's the guy? Again, because of my bet, I hope so. I, I hope so. <laughs> I really think that gives me another couple of years of, of Pittsburgh – irrelevance what's happening in that division is everyone got better you know the Bengals would have even won a few more games if burrow stayed in he, he's something he's coming back the browns have i don't think we're going to see the browns or ravens crater next year i'm not saying they're both going to win 11 again i'm saying we're not going to see them crater down to five we we there's more competition in that division i think the steelers stranglehold on it is over yeah uh, it's it's hard to disagree there. They're in such a strong division, and it's it kind of makes you wonder with Lamar kind of hitting his stride and, and at, at minimum being a top ten, top twelve quarterback. Oh, not yeah, not can... a bad option at the end no. of the day. Definitely top ten, top twelve. He's not someone in, that I fell in love with two years no. ago during his MVP season, but because he just doesn't he doesn't have those Russ intangibles, I which know. is what there's why something I about him. I'm just, with you there. It, yeah, I, I would not fall in love with him. You couldn't make me. When everybody was, he was the darling child. He was the second coming of Mike Vick. Mike Vick could throw the fucking ball. Let's be That's real. Right. That That's guy right. had a cannon. Oh, yes. And I don't know if Lamar has that. Yeah. yeah, just, just, oh, I'm sorry. No, this, Lamar's this lacking. Lamar pulls some of his guys down accidentally. Where, like, where I thought Marquise Brown could have been or, or as, a, as a receiver. Yeah. I think Lamar's lack of put it on the money that he just never shown that he has that. Now this, maybe he's working off season on tire drills and that's all he's doing. I, I don't know, but I think Lamar shockingly brings a few guys ceilings down because he relies on his legs so much. Yeah, I agree with that. And I think he, <clears throat> I think he is a, a quarterback that's still in his head is like, I need to run this ball first and the ball will go farther faster than you can. You are ex an exceptional athlete, maybe yes. the most athletic guy in the NFL to play quarterback and run like that. He's, you can he's make special. the argument. He's a, he's a special talent. He's fun. Uh, I, I mean, the proof is in the, the playoff record, but you're probably not winning a title unless you have the right coach to change his mentality on the position because Mahomes mastered it way, way too fast. Because he's got the legs if he needs them, right? Russ, Russ mastered it way too fast. Won his Super Bowl in his, what, third season or something like yeah, that, or second something like or that. something like that. <clears throat> you use your legs. Don't get me wrong. You use them. Aaron Rodgers uses them. Brady figured it out occasionally. Even Peyton Manning trotted every now and then. <laughs> it, it should not be to win titles your first thing. You're going to run into some issues. And if he gets the right coach, and well, I say that they have a great coach and a head coach, but maybe they need a right quarterback coach because Harbaugh's great. He's gotten him. He's won a title. He's get, always in the relevance. But maybe there's something missing in the way he's communicating with Lamar to make sure that he's, like, use the fact that everyone thinks you're going to run to throw. They against all them. Use, use your strength against them, but That's not right. in the way that you want to. Because the second you just run, mm -hmm. yes, you got 140 yards that game. And, yes, that's great during the regular season. Then you go to the playoffs. Those teams are at the same level as you. Not like the, the eight you played that weren't. Now you're running against guys that are a little bit faster and know where you're going already. Like, use that. Fake that because he's so fast and so dynamic. Fake that. And now the poor bastard of a linebacker's frozen. Your corner comes up and you have an easy 12, an easy 19, a big streak. But if you're not using it that way and you're actually passing the line of scrimmage, which he tends to do... Yes, you're going to get six. You're going to get your eight. You're going to get the, the rips, and you're going to not win playoff games. 
Well, and all this to say, I think Baker is in a decent spot. Mm -hmm. I'm not also sold on his skill set. He can throw the ball, but he also can turn that ball over. Yeah. Uh, Has had maybe one of the better receiving cores in the NFL recently. Hasn't done a whole lot with it. So I don't know. I don't know where the ceiling for Baker falls for me. Right now, he's in that 15 to 17 range of quarterback. Uh, You know, two bad seasons, one real good season, and you're like, what is this guy? We are we are on the cusp though, and I I don't know because it's about the injury recovery. We're on the cusp of the best quarterback in the AFC North being Joe Burrow in the year or two. That that really could happen from the credentials of what a quarterback can do stat wise and running the position the I don't want to call it the right way because I'm not saying Lamar plays it the wrong way. I'm saying he's not been pushed to use his advantages against the team. Whereas right. Burrow came in, was already dropping dimes where he needed him to go, a little Herbert style. We are going to see, if Ben stays, he's not going to be number one. Baker's a, a friggin' up and down. And Lamar, I know MVP was two years ago. Last year was a little underwhelming in terms of like coming off of that. But that happens to everybody after an MVP. Right. That that I think Joe Burrow, by 22, is the strongest quarterback in that division. So, Big Ben, back to the Steelers. How do you feel about that in, in summary of all of this? If I'm if you're saying for the Steelers, not good for that. But for me, as a person betting against the Steelers, very pleased. What do you put their record at this year if you had to spitball? I, I can do a quick Google search and let you know who they're playing, like what division they are frequenting, if you'd like to, well, to I mean, really they, I, dig into it. I but. know right now they get the, the, the Baltimore, Cleveland, Cincinnati twice. So there's six right there, and I think they're not – they're not sweeping those six. They're they're losing three or though of those right out of the gate. Unfortunately, I, I think their ceiling. I wonder what their over under would be, but I really think it's probably in the nine game range that they would win, and that's not going to get it done. Ooh, and they have the <clears throat> they have the um shit. It just jumped out of my head. The Denver Lions, Raiders, Tennessee, Bills, Chiefs. Chargers, yeah. Minnesota. That's a that's a tough schedule for them this year. That's They're gonna a lose good... a lot of games. I'm gonna down it to, to eight. I'm gonna say a five hundred season, super underwhelming exit for Ben. Uh should be his last year anyway. Uh and I think it's a I don't know. I think it's a swan song year for him. Maybe they can again adapt from the NBA and make it a make it a farewell tour like Kobe did and like some of the other guys did. But uh yeah, good for my personal bet. Yeah. So there's no dates and times listed yet. They haven't released that. But their first four games could be Baltimore, Cincy, Cleveland, Buffalo. Yeah. They could they go could. one and three easily, easily. to start the e- season. Easily. Easily. 